The MPHPMX and Weber IDF share the same basic look and design. They also share the same internal parts. We did make several changes to improve performance, like profile throttle shafts, making the bore diameters for both 40 and 44s the same, and other changes to improve and increase airflow. Weber has a significant history and reputation, while the MPH PMX is relatively the new kid on the block. We are very confident that our HPMX holds its own against the Weber, but thought that a straight up dyno test would confirm for us, and more importantly for you, that the MPH PMX is every bit as good as the Weber. Step one was to purchase a couple of popular sized engines. After calling around, we located and purchased two engines, a 1776 and a 2010, right off the shelf from Rogers European Engineering. We added the tins, our merged exhaust, and our new offset manifolds and ultra crossbar linkage. These are not MP engines. In fact, a look at the build sheets will show that there are no MP parts used, perfect for our independent testing. Next, it was on to heads up performance, having booked dyno time well in advance. Roger Crawford has been a major player in the VW drag racing and performance scene since the early 70s. His list of accomplishments is endless. There is nothing getting past Roger when it comes to carburation and fuel injection. Extremely knowledgeable and outspoken, Roger will tell you what performs and what does not. Knowledgeable, independent, with maximum credibility, the perfect man for our test. Our goal here is not to make maximum horsepower, but to see and show how the MPH PMX stacks up against the IDF on the same engine under the exact same conditions. Both the HPMX and IDF carbs came right out of their boxes. We jetted the carbs exactly alike. We even used the same jet stack, removing from the HPMX and using on the IDF. Identical. Roger sat at the controls, started them up, and grabbed the stick. We made three pulls on each setup to get a good average. First up, the 1776. We chose to run our HPMX carbs first. Next, the same 1776, but with the Webers, exact same jets and condition. We waited anxiously. The printout shows the results. Not only had the HPMX performed as well as the IDF, we made three horsepower more than the Weber's. How cool is that? Next up, the 2010. First, the HPMX carburetors. We followed the same procedure, exact same jetting and conditions.
Now with the Webbers. Could the 44 HPMX carbs also outperform the Webers? The HPMX 44 carbs produce just shy of 2 horsepower more than the Webers. The final results are in. Same engines, same conditions, more horsepower. I'd say we have proven beyond any doubt that the Ampi HPMX not only are equal to the Webers, they look better, run better, and make more horsepower. A big thanks to Rogers European Engineering and Heads Up Performance for helping us to prove, without bias, that not only are the Ampi HPMX carbs equal to the Webers, they are better, straight out of the box. Congratulations to DNA Racing. Anthony Chica for his Bug In 36 win, and Doug Gonzalez for his NHRA record setting runs at Fontana. Running our MP EPC 51 carburetors. Watch for our next carburetor shootout featuring the MP EPC 48 and 51 carburetors versus the Weber 48 IDA.